Hello everyone! The third generation Ryzen processors by AMD have truly revolutionized mainstream desktop computing. Offering an unparalleled combination of single-core and multi-core performance, the 3000 series is the perfect choice for people building a video editing PC, a system for 3D rendering, or workstations for Adobe After Effects. There are a number of options on the market which makes it difficult to choose the best one. In this video, we compile the list of the top 4 best motherboards for Ryzen 9 3900X on the market today. Be sure to watch till the end for our best recommendation. If you want more information or updated pricing on the products mentioned here, check out the links in the description below. If you have another product you'd like us to review, let us know by leaving a comment down below. So without further ado, let's get started. First we have Asus ROG Strix X570e. It provides an extremely affordable price, featuring dual multi-GPU slots, exceptional M2 performance, 8 SATA 3 slots, and all the USB connectivity you will ever need, it truly provides excellent value for money. Its pros are, its metal armor improves heat dissipation. The patented I.O. shield is pre-mounted, making installation incredibly easy. Its Intel Wi-Fi 6 surpasses gigabit speeds, taking your LAN to the next level. Its safe slot ensures greater shearing resistance and more stable PCIe device retention. And its Armory Crate software allows easy customization of RGB effects and lighting for compatible devices. However, its efficiency could be improved. It comes with only two M2 connectors, and it does not include any voltage monitoring points or onboard buttons. Bottom line is, it is the best for the money. It is manufactured with exclusive AuraSync RGB lighting, addressable Gen 2 headers, and RGB headers. And it has comprehensive cooling with dual onboard M2 heatsinks, an active PCH heatsink, a water pump header, and an 8mm heat pipe. Next we have Best for the Money Gigabyte X570 Aorus Pro Wi Fi. This model stands out from the crowd for several different reasons. First, its memory stability is exceptional and the unit was able to go up to 4200 MHz. Secondly, the BIOS is intuitively designed, making it easy to use and navigate for beginners as well. Lastly, it has an incredibly well thought out design with an extremely quiet fan. Its pros are, it is capable of supporting a storage capacity of up to 64 GB. Its M2 thermal guard helps prevent bottlenecks and throttling from M2 SSDs. It has included USB Type-C headers, making it easier to connect a USB 3.2 Gen 2 drive. Its direct touch heat pipe and fins array heatsink ensure lower MOSFET temperatures. And its digital controllers are incredibly precise in delivering power to energy sensitive and power hungry components. However, its second M2 slot is situated under the GPU slot, and its on-desk Wi-Fi antenna might be unsuitable for some. Bottom line is, it has true 12-phase digital IR VRM designed with power stage. It has the latest Intel Wi-Fi 6 and BT5 with an Aorus antenna. And its dual ultra-fast NVMe PCIe is equipped with thermal guards. Next we have runner-up, Gigabyte X570 Aorus Master. This unit boasts countless high-end features, including a 2.5 gigabits per second Ethernet LAN system, three PCIe 4.0 M2 slots, and a Wi-Fi 6 interface. But its heatsink is where it truly stands out. Designed with aluminum fins and encased in a copper pipe, the heatsink effectively reduces all overheating problems. Its pros are, it is fully compatible with profiles up to and beyond 4400 MHz. Its latest ALC1220 codec allows surround sound audio playback. Its SmartFan 5 maintains the system's performance while keeping it cool. Its Intel Wi-Fi 6802.11ax ensures high performance and smooth onboard networking. And its Infineon PWM controller enables users to take the full advantage of third-gen AMD Ryzen processors. However, it is heavy and pricier than other models. And its Aorus RGB software might conflict with the G-Skill RGB software. Bottom line is, it has four DIMMs and a dual-channel non-ECC ECC unbuffered DDR4. It has direct 14 phases digital Infineon VRM solution equipped with a 50-ampere power stage. 
and its advanced thermal design includes a direct touch heat pipe and a fins array heatsink. Finally, we have best overall, Asus Rogue X570 Crosshair 8. Offering one of the best VRM with a 14 plus 2 phase design, this unit provides unparalleled overclocking for the Ryzen 3900X. It's equipped with onboard troubleshooting features, including a slow mode for LN2 cooling, retry and power buttons, safe boot buttons, and an LED display for postcodes. Its pros are, it has two PCIe 4.0 storage devices, providing the fastest data transfer speeds. Its innovative AI Suite 3 control panel enables users to fine tune every aspect of their system. Its Wi-Fi 6 support offers improved network capacity, better performance, and ultra-fast networking speeds. Its automated system-wide tuning provides cooling and overclocking profiles specifically made for your system. And its Asus Safe Slot pre-mounted I.O. Shield, BIOS flashback, and high-end components ensure maximum endurance. However, it is more expensive than other models, and it does not include the Asus Aura Sync. Bottom line is, it is equipped with USB 3.2 Gen 2 AMD StoreMe and up to two M2 drives. It has integrated active PCH heatsink, row cooling zone, Crosschill EK3, and two aluminum heatsinks. And it has an onboard Wi-Fi 6 with Mu MIMO support, Asus language protection, 5G and Gigabit Ethernet, and Game First 5 software support. There you have it, our top four best motherboards for Ryzen 9 3900X on the market. Check out the links in the description below for detailed information and the latest pricing. If you thought this video was helpful, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. If you didn't, let me know why in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video.